All Hello. Right. Try number two on our live video. No, no, this is first try. We always get everything right the first time and never fail. Right? <laughs> okay, apparently not. All right, so our meal delivery service is healthy. That's what we're going to talk about today. Awesome. So, um, just in case you don't know us, I'm Seth. This is Megan. And we'll tell you a little bit more about us and who we are, I guess. But the main idea here is we've got a blog that we've written. Um, we're going to kind of go over it, but dive into a little bit more detail here in the video. But if you'd rather read it, let us know. Just comment or send a message or whatever, and we can send you the link to the blog once that's up. Otherwise, we'll just kind of jump in here and talk about... So meal delivery services like HelloFresh. Mm -hmm. My Fit Meals. Blue Apron everything there's like a billion out there now there's there even are. local ones yeah you yeah. said you wanted to do one. Oh, it's it's called sun basket it's i want to try it because they have it's a vegan one and they have all kinds of yummy looking vegetables and we're not vegan no so. but i would love to <laughs> try all the yummy different veggies and experiment with that yeah so those types of things any one of the bajillion that are in existence at this point you if you've ever thought about getting it or even just cross your mind like, hmm, I wonder if that's a good idea. Like, is it worth it? Will it help me lose weight? Is it even healthy? All of those questions are great questions, but it's not something that is, you can just give one single answer that works for every single person. So rather than just giving a blanket, like, yes, it's healthy or no, it's healthy statement, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of go over the facts and give you... Kind of the breakdown. Yeah, so you can decide for yourself. The skinny, the fat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it should be the fat, not the skinny, because there's more more to give with fat and less to give with the skinny. More cushion for the push. Uh, <laughs> so moving on. <laughs> you guys. So the first thing is okay, so let's let's first of all go into a couple things that you should know about us first of all. So this is I already told you it's Megan. She's the wife and mom here at Fitness Porter. She's also the nutrition coach. Yep. And then I'm the husband slash dad slash personal trainer. But more importantly, in the context of this, the two things you really need to know is one is that we are not a meal delivery service. Hmm. And then number two, meal delivery services are not a competitor to our business. So this isn't an ad. And yeah, and we're not getting paid for this. No. This and is just our honest opinion, experience as people and coaches. Yeah, and there's not a conflict of interest either. Like some of our clients have used it, some have not. We would give the same advice kind of based on, I mean, we can give more personalized advice, obviously, if we're talking to you, but but the overall kind of broad look at things is, is what we would give to any of our clients. So um, I also, because that's only two things, I did <laughs> ask Megan to come up with a third thing for this list. She I didn't know what this is for. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I did this. I did this randomly. She had no idea that I even included this in here. But I, do you want to read it or do you want to just have me ask it again? And then, ask me the question and I'll okay. tell you my answer. <laughs> so, so I said, I said, I need a third thing, some other piece of information to share about us. So what would you like to tell people? I said, we really like pizza and beer and tacos and cookies. Well, just food. We like food. <laughs> yeah, we we like food, and she said it a little bit more, like she was drooling over all of these things <laughs> in her mind as she read it. And actually, even though it was a silly answer, the reason I included it is because I thought it's good insight as to like where we're coming from when we're talking about healthy food. Like we're talking about real life. So healthy isn't some arbitrary set of rules. It, it covers a lot from the actual literal nutrients in the food that you eat to the people that you share your meals with, to how you feel physically, to the mental and emotional aspects that go along with all of that, especially with eating. There's, there tends to be a lot of that. So we don't want to do something that's only going to make us healthy for a few weeks or even a few months. We want to build habits that set us up to feel stronger and have more energy and maintain a healthy weight for the rest of our lives. Mm. And we don't want to have to give up the foods that we love, like pizza and tacos and cookies, Beer, cookies <laughs> and whiskey. Lotta. Sure, yeah. We don't want to give up any of that stuff um, in order to achieve those goals. So keep that in mind as we go over the pros and cons here of meal delivery services. So let's start with the pros. Number one, they can make meal time easier. Mm -hmm. 
So it is way easier to make healthy choices, um, to make healthier choices more regularly if you don't have to fight a mental battle at every single meal. Yeah. So the more you're, fit, the, if, if like, if you're eating three, four meals a day or even just two meals a day, which I, I feel like most people eat more often than that. But like if every single one of those meals is just a, like this battle of the wills and of your mind to make it be healthy, that's not going to last very long. Yeah. So making it easier makes it easier to just stick with it, be more healthy long term. Um, so even if your subscription only covers a couple meals per week, that can still make a big difference, uh, especially if you're not great in the kitchen because yeah. it gives you just something quick and easy to throw together that, yeah, it might have some healthier choices than yeah. what you would have otherwise. And depending on what subscription you give, it could actually, I don't know if this is on there, but it could actually like start to expose you to how to make some different foods and start to... That's the next one. That's the next one. <laughs> Which we'll go into in just a second, but I do want to mention that, so making mealtime easier, I feel like that's one of the biggest things for meal delivery services is just the convenience of it. Oh, and, yeah. and it can be healthy. So you have a healthy meal and that's convenient. I think that's the biggest appeal. For sure. But <laughs> but I do want to stress that it's not the only way to make mealtime easier. Like mm -hmm. there are a lot of other skills that you're going to need in order to be able to eat healthier regularly in a way, in a big enough way where it can affect you and how you're feeling. So it can definitely be an effective tool in the toolbox but there's a lot of other skills you're going to need and that will also make meal time easier. There's so, a dad joke in there. Oh yeah? Tool in the toolbox. If you, <laughs> if you're Somewhere in, in there. Sounds like it's a mom joke. Okay. Okay. So then number two, this is kind of what you were getting at is they can help you um, discover new foods. Mm -hmm. So trying new foods, I think can be fun, but not everybody necessarily thinks that. <laughs> Um, so if that's not an exciting idea for you, you can just think of it as a simple way to kind of motivate yourself to eat foods that you wouldn't try otherwise. My biggest barrier for new foods is just the time it takes to figure out how to cook it. And I think people with who are not familiar with the kitchen can relate to that. For sure. For sure. I mean, they, they like to try different foods, but learning how to do it is, is hard. So this yeah. is a good way, good way to bridge that gap. Yeah. So building up a bigger list of go-to healthy foods, ultimately, even just by having things come to you in the mail and and going, oh yeah, this is something I wouldn't make. That's that's gonna give you a bigger kind of library of foods that you have at your disposal to even make later on yourself. Like, oh, that's not something I would've made. Now I know what it is so I can make it. Yeah. I do wanna add though, what you just said is um, a totally, acceptable way to do it too like i know it's it's it can be a big step for a lot of people but if you don't want to go the meal deliver, delivery service route just going to the grocery store and saying you know what i'm just going to pick one new food this week mm -hmm. or this month or one, whatever one recipe one ingredient i'm just going to google it and i'm going to go here's how you make it and i'm going to do it and that can accomplish that goal yep. just as easily that's what one of our clients is doing right now is he's got a, a deadline oh, yeah, that's right. and a goal and a recipe that he's got to figure out how to make and we're just building up his kitchen skills. Yep. If a meal delivery service will make it easier for you to branch out and do that, then that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but there are other ways to do it too. So, and then number three as a pro for meal delivery services is that they reduce the barrier to eating better because sometimes the hardest part to eating better is just getting started with it. So I, without going into all the details of the different companies, cause I didn't, I don't even know them and I didn't want to dig into each individual <laughs> one. I I know that some are going to have more nutritious options than others, but most of them are still going to be a step up from frozen lasagna mm -hmm. or chicken fingers or fast food. Peanut butter jellies. Yeah. So if that's the only step that you're ready for, then just start there. Totally. Just be sure that you're thinking of it as a first step. A first step, not the solution. Yes. Because... The, con, the first con <laughs> is... Do you need to continue on yeah, with that? Yeah, because the, the natural transition. There. I see. Okay, yes, yes. So, yeah, the first con, and this is a big one. I would say this is probably the biggest problem with meal delivery services, um, uh, is that they can be a Band-Aid, or at least a lot of people treat them as a Band-Aid. So being healthy and losing weight sustainably comes down to building new habits so that you don't just run to the pantry for a box of Oreos whenever you get the urge. Uh, 
Do you have experience with that? <laughs> like Oreos. Yeah. So <laughs> having a healthy meal provided for you a few times each week, it does, really doesn't do anything for you to help you actually adopt those new behaviors. Um, things like paying attention to your hunger, mm -hmm. eating slowly, or, or actually knowing how to make nutritionally balanced meals on your own. Or how to eat outside of those meals. Like, so say you get two meals a day from the service, and then how do you balance the rest of your food? So that's number two oh of the cons. Oh my gosh, it's like I wrote this, but I <laughs> didn't. I did consult you, though, so you actually wrote more of this than what you realize. <laughs> Is it? At least I'm unwavering. Is it? What's it called when I steal writing from somebody? Plagiarism. Plagiarism. Yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna say uh, uh, something else. But is it plagiarism if I just talk to you about it and then write some of the stuff that you said? I don't know. We we'll know all the rules. <laughs> Get to consult my lawyer. Okay. Yeah. Good. Good thing we work together. <laughs> so, I own you, by the way. I know. <laughs> She's the majority shareholder. <laughs> That makes us minority on business. So number two, you, they aren't a solution for every meal, which is exactly what you were just saying. You probably, so you're probably not going to have dinner provided for you every day of each week. But even if you did, without ever missing the deadline to make an order, because I know that's something you had mentioned one of your clients. Yeah is missed an order and then, then like even even though they week. had a plan there, there was yeah there was nothing like, there oh, what am i gonna do so even if you did have food provided for every single dinner each week and you never missed a deadline there are going to be a lot of other meals and snack times throughout the week yep. so and you can easily undo your progress that you make toward your health or weight loss just on the weekend alone that's a super common one. Oh yeah if, so not to mention all the other meals throughout mm -hmm. the week um so go ahead and use a delivery service to make a few meal times easier if you want to, but you also need to make sure that you work proactively on improving your other meals too. So do things like add more veggies or protein or include higher quality fats or, or carbs in your diet rather than the typical processed stuff. You gotta work on those things so that you're not just reliant on this one meal even if it's every day, which is probably not going to be. I mean, that's not any more effective than just saying, oh, I wanna be healthy, so I'm gonna eat broccoli once a day. <laughs> like, that's fine, that's a good step, but it's not gonna There's change. There's no one thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so number three on the cons is that meal delivery services are not tailored to you. And I know that there are some who will say that they are in s certain specific ways. Um, there are some that are macro-based. Yep. Yep. But the but ultimately it's still it still kind of comes down to a one size fits all approach because even if they're adjusting certain things they're only adjusting those things for that meal yeah and not looking at the big picture so yeah. you for instance you have your own goals which will dictate uh, what and how much you need to eat this alone can be a major problem especially when the meals themselves aren't big enough. So something like macros, they might be the perfect breakdown of proteins, fats, and carbs. Like perfect ratios. Like, yeah, exactly, perfect ratios. But if you're not eating enough food, then that's gonna mess up the entire rest of your day. And I know a lot of people might think it's actually a good thing, like, oh, it's a smaller meal, so then I won't overeat, I'll lose some weight. But if you're hungry throughout the day and your meal is that small, you eventually are going to overeat the next day or even that day because your body is going to be hungry. Yeah, and you're, I mean, and things like your metabolism will actually literally slow down more because you're doing more extreme stuff. So that it's it's not a good thing. That, that alone, just not having the right size, the right amounts of food can make a big difference. You also have your own preferences, just food preferences, which will dictate what types of food you're going to be more successful with in the long term. Yeah. So... Point being with this one is that no matter how much a delivery service claims they'll meet your needs, it can really only work so well based on how it fits into the big picture of the rest of your life. Um, number four, you won't use them forever. So even if you find success with a, a meal delivery service, there is a really good chance that eventually you're going to get bored mm -hmm. of their options or you're just going to want to spend your money on something else. That maybe you'll keep them for a long time, but most likely you're gonna get sick of it eventually and, and you'll yeah, stop. Yeah, if you are seeing success and your goals change too, it's not gonna serve, yep. serve you 
forever. Now, your gut reaction to that might be something to say like, oh, it doesn't have to work forever. I only, I want to lose whatever. I want to lose 10 pounds. I want to lose 20, however much weight you want to lose or you have a specific goal for your health. Like, I just want my cholesterol to come down. I'm just going to use it that long and then I'll be done with it. Unfortunately, that is not how real life works. So if the only tool that you use to reach your goal is something that can't be used forever, then you're gonna have nothing left to prevent you from just ending up right back where you started. Because you'll get there and then you're just gonna go right back to the, to the habits that you had in the first place that caused you to gain the excess weight or caused your cholesterol or blood pressure to go up. So the fact that you can't use it forever is definitely a big um, pitfall. And, and again, even if you do use it forever, all these other things that we mentioned are, are still going to work against you. So let's just summarize this. I'm curious okay. how you would summarize it because, or do you want me to go first? Um, I would summarize it by saying that it is, it can be a great starting point and a great, um, tool to start making changes now, but you also need to have an end game. You also need to have a, a bigger picture of what you're going to do to work towards your goals and also know what's going to happen when you stop getting those meals and how you're going to eat and because so eventually you're going to have to work on it even if you just choose to have someone else do all the hard work for you now one day you're going to have to work on it and if, if you want the changes that you really want yeah definitely i would summarize it very similarly i won't even try to recap what you just said the only thing i would add to that is just since the original question is is this a healthy thing to do I, I would just point out that just because something is technically healthy doesn't mean that it's going to make you healthier. Mm -hmm. Like the example I gave of, of the broccoli. Yeah. Like eating broccoli is great, but if it's the only thing you do and you have it once a day, once a week, whatever, then that doesn't necessarily mean it's actually going to get you closer to your goals. So I agree that mail delivery services can be a really good tool to use. Um, but I think that for the most part, it's probably a very small um piece of the puzzle yeah mm -hmm. there, there are a lot more there are a lot bigger things is, that are more important so if you think it's going to help you in some way then great go for it use yeah. it but don't expect it to take you all the way up top <laughs> all right that's good if you have any questions let us know comments messages anything else yep. yeah uh if you prefer to read this uh let me know and i'll send you the blog link otherwise just let us know kind of what your, you know, if you have a meal delivery service, which one is it? Do you like it? Yeah, if we missed any pros, <laughs> if we missed any pros or cons that yeah. we should have added, let us know. Something that you really like at, about it or something you really don't like about it. And, and then we can just kind of expand our blog and work on it. Keep the dialogue going. Yeah. All right. Okay, goodbye. Thanks for watching.